What's up everybody, this is MMA Rant. I'm coming to y'all today with another video. Before I get started, like always, I wanna say thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks for everybody that's been listening to my videos, sharing my videos, leaving thumbs up, leaving comments. And if you're listening right now, subscribe. Now on with the video. Now quite, before I get started, I wanna apologize. I know this is a weekend here, and usually I'm putting out the videos at a high volume, you know? My girl got me around the house doing weekend chores, got me around here cooking, got me around here running to and from around the house. But guess what? I gotta take care of my manly duties and responsibilities at home first. But guess what? I also have a responsibility to y'all as well. And that's what I'm taking care of right now. Now on with the video. This video is about Conor McGregor getting prepared very early for his fight with Nate Diaz at UFC 200. Jalen Kavanaugh, his trainer, posted a picture on Twitter on April the 6th, basically letting everybody know, hey, three years to today, Conor made his debut in the UFC. And as of right now, he's getting prepared for UFC 200. And if you look at the picture here, basically, Conor McGregor is on a triathlon bike with one of those training masks on his face, slash, uh, breathing mask, okay? This mask here is to help you have a stronger lung capacity as far as breathing, stronger blood flow in the body, helps strengthen your body and your mind physically and mentally. And if you notice, this is something different in Conor McGregor's training regimen. And Conor is taking this fight with Nate Diaz very, very seriously. Because last time we checked, Conor was out for the count at that last fight at UFC 196. So Conor is taking this fight very seriously. He's changing some things up in his training regimen. And as you can see in this picture, this is the picture that John Kavanaugh posted on his Twitter account. You know, Conor McGregor is here putting in work. Because he's got to do that for this fight at UFC 200 if he wants to come out and, and uh, win this fight. So, you know, Nate Diaz... One thing different between Nate Diaz and all of Connor's other fighters, fuck everything about the weight, the length, the experience, and everything else. The difference is Nate Diaz's lifestyle. It's how he eats. It's how he stays in fit and in shape throughout the year. Even when he's not in training camp fighting, this is how he lives. He does triathlons. He's always in 5K, 10K, 15K races. It's um, strongman competitions, you know, as far as the, you know, the triathlons and things like that, you know, him and his brother, uh, Nate Diaz, they're always in shape. No matter what they're doing, they're always doing something to help strengthen their mind, body, and soul. And this is something that Connor has to pick up on if he wants to beat this man in a fight. Because like I will tell you, and like anybody else will tell you, if you got two men competing against each other, the man that always has the stronger mind the stronger, stronger will, the stronger mental capacity, that person will always win the fight. And it was clearly shown at UFC 196 when Conor McGregor fought Nate Diaz. Conor McGregor was hitting Nate Diaz with everything he had, with all the precision, all the timing, all the power. But guess what? The man that had the stronger mind, the stronger will, the man that always puts himself through the rigorous types of extracurricular activities outside of fighting, that man is the man that's won the fight, and that was Nate Diaz. So if Conor McGregor wants to win this fight at UFC 200, he has to take that man serious. He has to start taking on some of those attributes that Nate Diaz has in his uh, daily lifestyle outside of fighting. And as you can see in this picture right here, Conor McGregor isn't a dumb man. He knows what works. And right now, he has to do this to make it work to beat Nate Diaz at UFC 200. Because Conor has the skill, he has the fighting, he has the power, the precision, but one thing that Connor doesn't have, Connor doesn't have the stamina and the drive. He even said that in his post-fight interview. He basically gassed out. The man that uh, used his energy in the right way won, and Nate Diaz was the man that knew how to use his energy at the right times and how to preserve it. Nate Diaz and his brother, they do these long 5K, 10K runs, they do these triathlons, those men know how to use their energy and use it well. They know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. And that's what Conor McGregor has to learn what to do at this fight with uh, Nate Diaz at UFC 200. The better man will win the next fight, the rematch, and I'm looking forward to seeing that fight. 
But guess what, y'all? Let me know what y'all think in the comments about the, uh, Conor McGregor's new training regimen. Let me know who y'all think is going to win at UFC 200 out of these two. Also, let me know if you feel like what Conor McGregor is doing here is the right thing to be doing. Leave a thumbs up, share this video, and if you like what you hear, subscribe. And until next time, peace.